The other day I was at our local Hebrew thrift store that's a couple blocks from the house here. And I came across this old video cassette. Every once in a while I'll take a look at the VHS and if something pops out I might grab it. And I thought this one was uh, kind of so random to be at a, a, a Jewish secondhand bookstore, thrift store type thing. I had to get it. And it's uh, titled Self-Loading and Unloading of Sodium Cyanide Trucks. Anyway, um, I haven't used a VCR in a long time. And I wanted to rip that VHS into the computer and post it. I thought it would be funny. Kind of a unique thing to have on the channel. And I had remembered that Chris and I picked up a couple of these um, JVC and this one's laying on its top. This is a JVC BR-S611U uh, and we both picked a couple of these up at the ham swap meet. They were real cheap. I think they were 10 bucks each. They're a commercial type uh, VHS, SVHS hi-fi deck for broadcast use. And I popped the thing in and checked it and it started playing and then I, I stopped it to hook it up to the computer and I went back and it wouldn't go into play. What it was doing is it would flash, it's got here, it's got a uh, diagnostic mod monitor thing it would flash a code, error code 32, and I couldn't find any information online as to what that code really meant other than it's people with the same problem. So I think I found the problem. I'm going to try and fix it, and if it fixes it, you'll see the video. If it doesn't, you won't, so that's a mute point. Anyway, there's a belt here that goes between this motor and this wheel that is the actual belt that pulls the tape out is the main mechanism belt and it was loose and I could I could pop the tape in and put it into play and the, dr the drive pulley would keep spinning it would pull the tape most of the way out and then it would reject and retract and spit the tape out and squirt it code 32. So I went to my local guy and I picked up a couple belts. I guess I'm real lucky to have a local guy left that actually has stuff. And the way I got to this thing, and I'm documenting this in case Chris ever has a problem with his, and I'm sure there's an easier way, but I took the E-clip off of here and then you can push this bar out that's here and you can kind of tilt this up so here's my new belt and you can see that what I've done is I've got this loose I can't get it all the way out because that that bar will only push out to that point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work it and I'm gonna get some grease on it but there's not a whole lot I can do about that I just have to try and clean it I'm going to work it over this and around this pulley and then we'll pop it back together and see if it plays. There it is all back together. Uh, it's pretty challenging. You have to have patience to really uh, get this thing together like that. So now what I'll do is I'll drop this down this uh, board hinges. It's really a very nicely made piece of equipment. I just I just love commercial stuff. The big problem with VHS is the resolution is like 333 by 480 and people now are used to 1920 by 1080. So it's a 4 by 3 format 333 by 480 or 480 by 333 versus 1920 by 1080. So, let's see if it works. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I got something 
Come on, baby. See, there's the air code. Come on, spit it back out. Crap. All right. I hate VCRs. I have to crank it out by hand. Okay, one thing I've noticed about this thing is it is photosensitive. If you have a bright light shining on the top of it like I do here, it will do this. Let me... I need some way to black this out. Nope, still not happy. Nope, still not happy. One thing irritating about this thing is that when you turn it on, the transport doesn't automatically rehome and set everything back. You gotta start with it all in the right spot or else it won't work. Let me get back under there and rotate that wheel and see if I can get it in that right spot. All right, I got it to where it'll stay in without airing out. There we go. Nope. Air 06 this time. What the hell? Okay, that error was caused by the photosensitivity. I turned the light off. I'm almost totally dark here and we're working. And we got, let's see, what is this? Uh, video tracking and we got audio going there. All right, this thing does not have an RF output, so I'm fed from this thing into the Blonder Tongue modulator, then into the old RCA CTC28. So let's see if this works. Please don't eat my tape. Please. Nice noisy signal there, low resolution. Come on, today. Well, it acts like it's working. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, this thing has got a date with the computer before something else goes wrong. Look at the smearing. Who knows if that's the TV or the uh, the VCR? Who cares? Let's just rip it quick. <laughs> 